With summer right around the corner, it is time to start thinking about thinning our everyday carry items out. And for me, I am still on the hunt for that perfect inside the waistband holster when it comes to my SIG P365. I have yet to find it, but my latest attempt was this Crossfire inside the waistband holster. This is not a pocket holster. Crossfire does advertise this as a inside the waistband carry style holster. I spent six weeks carrying this and using this holster, and I have to say I am glad I am done testing it out. There is a use for this and a time and place to be using something like this. Unfortunately for me, it's just not an everyday carry style of holster. And we'll get into it right now. But first things first, we're going to evaluate this holster based on a three-point system. Number one, we're going to look at its value or use of value. Does it live up to what the manufacturer says this is intended to do and be used for? Number two, we're going to look at concealability. Does this holster conceal your gun? And number three, we'll be looking at its comfort. Now, I know that's not an essential part for everyday carry, but I do think it needs to be addressed because a comfortable carry holster is important in my opinion, especially if you're going to be using it every day. Let's get into it. Okay, where do I start with the Crossfire? So the technology that's claimed to be used here is this honeycomb pattern. There's other manufacturers that uh, sticky holster that you're probably familiar with. But when it comes to Crossfire, they use this honeycomb pattern with a certain type of material that really makes it sticky. It does get sticky. Uh, if you put it against your hip and cinch it down with a belt, it is, it, I mean, it stays there. I did not have any issue with it falling out of my pants or anything like that. But before I say anything else about that, it's $11. It's a $10 holster, $10.99 or something like that. So um, I did not expect much out of it. It does have a time and, you know, a use, a uh, time and place for that use, but it's just not for everyday carry. As far as sizing goes, I have the size 11, which fits the SIG P365. It also fits, in my opinion, better than the SIG P365 is my wife's Ruger LC9. Um, the guns are empty. I already checked them. I'm not going to check them again on camera. Um, so... <clears throat> It does fit that one better. It just gives a little bit better retention uh, when it comes to the Ruger LC9 uh, as opposed to the SIG P365. So let's get into that use, the value of its use. What I mean when I say that is does it live up to what it's being claimed uh, its intended use? And there's a couple points I want to make under this category. Number one, wearing this for six weeks almost every day, there are a few flaws here. Um, the first thing is you are going to get some movement, even with a belt cinched down over uh, the part of the holster in your gun, you will get some movement. Where I really seen this holster shine is, and I could see it being used more for myself, is in places that I know I'm going to be stationary. When I go to church, I know I'm going to be sitting there for a good hour, hour and a half. And I'm just not going to be doing a lot of movement, so I don't have to worry about adjusting or readjusting uh, the position of the holster. Or take my kid, my daughter to uh, gymnastics. I'm sitting there for an hour and a half. Take my son to jujitsu. You know, sitting there for an hour. I know I'm just going from the car inside, inside back to the car and home. There's not a lot of movement there. I would not be using this, and I did take it. And with my kids to the park and, you know, we we're playing around. I was playing around, you know, with the kids throwing the ball, uh, climbing stuff. And this is where uh, as sticky as it is and as tight as I cinched down my belt, which got really uncomfortable, it still had some movement back and forth. And you're going to see here with me jumping up and down, you'll see that holster start to lean forward a little bit and just some minor jumping caused it to shift which is a problem another thing that um, I found an issue with the holster is the fact that it does move so what's happening is it's dropping down into your pants not completely I didn't lose this holster at all it didn't fall through my pants or anything like that but what it's doing is it's making it really difficult for you to get a good grip uh, to draw the gun um, from the holster because it's slipping down and you just cannot get your fingers around the grip of the gun and that's a dangerous that's a problem i i did a lot of attempts to draw this uh 
gun out and practice and dry fire and I just kept running into that problem with a little bit of movement and I could not get a good grip on the gun itself during because of the way it would move around uh gosh I wouldn't recommend this for loose fitting pants um I you could throw it in a pocket I put it in my pocket a couple times just to see how that would feel and you can't tell that there's anything as far as a gun in my pocket but it wasn't the most comfortable thing to carry uh, in that position. It's not what it's designed to do. So I can't really evaluate it on that, but I did find it easy to throw in the pocket, uh, when it comes to loose fitting pants, sweatpants, or anything like that, running to the store using specifically this, uh, Ruger LC nine was re- where's where it really shined. And I could throw it in my pocket and conceal it pretty good. Now, as far as concealability goes, you're going to see here in this video clip that there is no issue there. It actually concealed really well. Uh, it did tend to fall a little bit lower and slip down, which helped in con- concealing the gun, but it did not make it good for trying to draw the gun out. Um, one thing I do want to say, too, is reholstering. You're not going to reholster this. It's impossible. You have to take the the um, the holster back out to put your gun in because it just collapses, which is expected. It's soft material. It's not hard, rigid, or you know, it doesn't stay in that shape really well with pressure on it. Uh, let me see what else here. Oh, my wife. Okay. When it comes to concealability, my wife liked it under her, uh, workout pants, kind of those yoga looking pants. She would put that and it was perfect for around the house for her. Anything more than that, it it started to move around just the same issue I had. So, uh, it's just, it, it's really designed for something that's minimal movement, stationary, not sitting, standing, sitting, standing. Uh, it's not an appendix carry so it's not going to work that way uh, as far as comfort goes i'm going to say this is probably one of the most comfortable holsters i've carried uh, on my side appendix i mean inside the waistband carry it's very streamlined there's not much going on there even against your bare skin it doesn't pinch or rub it doesn't give you any problems there so as far as comfort goes i would say this is an extremely comfortable holster but you do pay for it with the fact that it does move around and i do not like that uh, especially because I cannot get a good grip on the gun if I'm going to unholster that gun. In a stressful situation, I can't imagine trying to fumble around to grab the handle of that gun. It's going to take a lot of practice and kind of trying to find the sweet sweet spot of where to cinch down the holster itself. So uh, final thoughts here. I'm going to say out of 10, 10 being amazing, I'm going to rate this holster probably a 4.5. It's just... It's comfortable. It really shines, like I said, with those places you know you're not going to be moving around a lot doing any kind of crazy activity. Uh, For women, I think it is a good option for around the house. Uh, Another really good option for this holster would be a soft kind of protective holster for inside of a purse for the ladies or in a backpack, um, something where you just uh, don't need it to be on your body important i think uh, to carry not all the time but in your house especially if you're by yourself you put it under your workout pants and it'll cinch down nice there not a lot of movement but if you start running around jogging uh, playing with the kids there is going to be an issue with this holster uh, slipping or just moving positions which is not i'm not a fan of so that's it just a quick overview of the crossfire inside the waistband holster 4.5 out of 10 would not recommend for everyday carry style type of use uh, or hard use holster i do have uh As I continue the search for my holster, I do have an LAS concealment holster coming out, one of their minimalist holsters, and I'm excited to put some time into that and uh, give you my thoughts on that. So I appreciate you all stopping by. Be sure to hit that like or subscribe button. It's really hard to get in uh, YouTube's algorithm when it comes to anything PewP related. As soon as you show one of these... uh, it makes it that much more difficult for the channel to grow. So I do appreciate your likes and comments. And make sure you comment below. Let me know what you look forward to this summer as far as maybe kind of thinning out your everyday carry items, whether that's a gun, a holster, a flashlight, uh, a blade. Just let me know in the comments. Or if you do have a suggestion for me uh, for the SIG P365 appendix inside the waistband carry holster that is uh 
the most comfortable and a good summer option. So I appreciate you all, and I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.